we're moonlighting now. The sun is setting. And he's exposed the lamp right. He's down to it. In just two and a half hours. Those chunks right there, that's lamp right. And this here is lamp right. And there where it's shiny, it's hard and he slicked it off. And that, that's lamp right. Uh, the edge is just right here. As you can see, we're right on the line. And this is lamp right. Everything to our right. Got it exposed already. There was a mountain of stuff to move and some too, and he's got down to it already. Uh, it's exposed. And you know, once he cleans this off, gets the rest of it cleaned off in a big area here, then we can get in with the excavator and dig it and break it up. Then all that's left is just the hauling it and the washing it and the separating the diamonds out. This is what we needed. See, that's just worthless clay there. The dozer operator, John Carroll, said he can feel when he gets to the lamparite because it's harder. And it is, that clay's soft. But that lamparite is a harder igneous rock. It's not like it's a crater where it's been dozed for decades and it's all soft and everything. It's been broken up and exposed to the sun and wind and rain for decades, but here, this igneous lamparite has not been exposed to the elements, and it's still hard, and it, it comes out in, in big hard chunks like that. That's lamparite. That's what has the diamonds in it, and that's what we're looking for. Or actually, we're looking for the diamonds in the lamparite, but that's our, that's our pay layer. That's the layer that's got the diamonds in it. So he's opened up a nice, big, wide area for us. And as he's worked, he's kept in mind that we want to make a ditch to drain this. And that's why he's pushed so much material way past this, this line so that we can have a natural drain in here to get the rainwater out.